Hey, Zane Griggs here. So the weekend's here. Woohoo! All right, Friday night. Um, you know what happens though? A lot of times on the weekend, you know, you've been doing really well through the week with your food plan, whatever your whatever your eating plan is, your diet to to lean out, lose weight, and then the weekend hits, and suddenly the wheels fall off the wagon, and it's like, uh, you know, basically you, you end up undoing half or maybe even all of what um, all of your efforts have have accomplished through the week and it seems like you put on you know maybe you know you maybe you lost two or three over the week through the week and all of a sudden you come Monday morning rolls around and you've put a pound or two back on that maybe only a, a pound falls off when you get back on plan so it's like this vicious cycle of you know maybe you take two steps forward but one step back um, and let me let me just give you a little little pointer a little advice because uh, that's frustrating, and it basically would make you want to, to just quit altogether. Like, why try? Basically, you're, you're standing still. Um, nobody likes that, right? It really slows down the efforts. So, this is what I do. Because I know, like, on, on a week, weekend night, you know, I want to I get a movie, or maybe I go out with my, my family to dinner, or I'm hanging out with a, with a movie and some cashews and chocolate, and, you know, maybe a couple extra glasses of red wine, you know, that, that's how we enjoy ourselves on the weekend. We want to indulge. We want to relax. We want to feel like, um, you know, we can, we can let off some of the routine and some of the structure and enjoy ourselves and reward ourselves for a hard week. That's totally normal, and we should be able to do that. And maybe some of the choices, you know, could be changed um, or, or limited. You know, just don't indulge quite as much. But here's, here's what I do. Um, so the first part of the day in, in, on the weekends, I'm usually still stay pretty strict with my um, diet and eating. You know, basically, um, I may not have breakfast, so with that, which is which I do during the week anyway, like an intermittent fasting. So I just delay when I start eating, which allows more fat burning to take place. And then when I do eat, it's generally very low carb, like midday. It'll I'll stick to my eggs and maybe some veggies, and and just push the indulgence off to the evening to basically under eat, eat very low carb, knowing that when the evening rolls around, uh, especially if you have plans and you know you're going to be doing something, whether it's a, a Saturday night dinner, Friday, Saturday night dinner, or maybe you're, um, you've got a, some sort of event going on Sunday afternoon where you're going to be, you know, enjoying yourself, eating a little bit more, just, just start, start at the beginning with, with that in mind. Start your day with that in mind. So don't start off and, and you know, bury your face into uh, the plate of pancakes. You know, think about what's really important for you for that weekend to, uh, to allow you to relax and indulge, okay? And just let that be the event. Don't let it snowball starting off first thing in the morning. But it's usually the evening where it's, where it's a more special event. Like, like I said, you're going out or you've got a party, something like that. Um, try to taper, taper it to just that event, that, the evenings. And let yourself be a, stay on plan and maybe even a little you know, underfed and very strict with the low carb for the first part of the day until, say, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and that's when things start to relax and unwind. You start kind of you know, having that, glass, that earlier glass of wine or beer and, and having uh, you know, the, the, the snacky, starchy, salty food. Uh, that's when things start to happen. It's real four or five o'clock, and that's when we really, you know, are going to enjoy ourselves. So just try to stay on plan and limit to those those hours, because you're talking about maybe limiting it to, uh, you know, sorry, four or five. You might have five or six hours of the day where you might be a little, you know, going to be off plan, as opposed to it being an all day 14, 15 hours of being off plan. Do you see the difference? So even if it is, you know, a little Friday night, Saturday night maybe some Sunday afternoon, compress those indulgent hours, okay, as much as you can, go a little underfed and low carb for the first part of the day and allow more fat burning to take place and, and limit your time. And actually, you know, if you do that, like if you have a little indulgent Friday night or Saturday night, okay, you're going to take on a little bit of water weight, either from salty food, alcohol, carbs, you're always going to take on more water weight. So by allowing yourself to go low carb and, and a little bit under fat or that intermittent fasting, you know, skipping breakfast that next morning, you're going to start shedding some of that water weight you put on the night before. Really, just about, probably about 8, 10 hours into, um, you know, after you've kind of let things digest, get out of your system. If you hit the low carb, keep the starch out, veggies, some protein, 
uh, try to eat somewhat light, your body's going to start shedding some of that water weight right away, okay, the next, the next morning. So think about that, okay? You can, you can actually start uh, edging into the damage you're doing in the evening, the weight you're putting on in the evening, uh, the very next morning by, by tapering and not letting it snowball you and start the cravings off right off the first thing in the morning uh, because you, you, just don't, you just don't let it snowball. Narrow the hours, be good the next morning, uh, keep it tapered down, and that way Monday it doesn't feel like you've taken the, you know, two steps back. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below if you know someone that could benefit from this. Again, uh, please tag them in the comments, and have a good weekend. I'll see you Monday.